So when we talk to IT professionals, they're struggling really with three things when it relates to hybrid IT. One is dealing with sprawl. The second is dealing with growth. And of course, a lot of that adds up to complexity. So Don, as, as you talk to IT professionals, are you seeing a lot of the same problems arise there? We absolutely do. In fact, you think about sprawl, growth, and complexity, you almost want to think about really how the data center is played out today. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we take a look at where we are today. If you kind of really break it down, really what's happened here is, as we all know, customers are virtualizing pretty much everything they have in their, in their data center. Right. And in many cases, it's not just one virtual instance, it's usually multiple virtual instances, sometimes with very deep and wide VMs, sometimes with very thin but large you know, breadth of, of scale, sure. so to speak. But the interesting thing that we found is as customers started to virtualize that data center, they've also now extended that out and are starting to look at cloud. So like the VMC announcement on vir VMware running in, in Amazon Cloud is another interesting move that will have people moving data to the cloud. Sure. And of course, it's not just Amazon either. It might be Microsoft, it might be Oracle, it might be Google. Right. So more and more customers are driving in these multiple sort of cloud and hypervisor environments. Right, and even in here, we've got multiple hypervisors competing for their attention yeah, too. Exactly, and yeah. multiple technologies. So. You know, it might be uh, servers and storage and flash helping to drive one setup. Sure. Another one now might be the new hyperconverged players. Right. Um, doing a completely different use case or need, maybe VDI, point, yeah. you name it. So it's getting really interesting in this layer. Now the one thing to think about, and that's, that's what's really sprawling things out, because as we know, different lines of business, they want to move quickly. It's right. about trying to use data as effectively and as high value as possible. So in many cases, lines of businesses are creating different instances in the cloud. Um, without IT knowing about it. So that okay. starts to drive some of that sprawl concern. Now, if we reverse ourselves back about 10 years or so, right, what led us to this point? Well, it started with the idea of having the mainframe sure. and then going directly into a number of different open systems physical servers, right? Right. Well, guess what? When they went from that, those points to the virtualized environments, they never really disappeared. Yeah, those are still there. Yeah, so yeah. customers still have to figure out, all right, how do I appropriately get my arms around this entire environment in a way that I can understand exactly what the data is, where it lives, what policy it should be aligned to, better manage and actually accept the growth so the business continue to grow and innovate, accept that growth, but do it in a way where you don't have the complexity, where data isn't sprawling out of control, and that now this whole entire new sort of hybrid IT environment is properly controlled. So that's a very good point. I mean, if you think about growth, growth is actually a good thing, right? It means your business is growing and you're, you're doing things and you're adding that capability, but so to manage that growth is really kind of the key point, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, the interesting thing, and, and this is really where where Commvault helps fit in for our customers in kind of meeting these challenges. Okay. And in some cases, turning the challenges into a success point. Because we want to help customers actually you know, enable growth, but do it in a way where they can manage it and control it, and where it's not sprawl growth and complexity. Okay. That's really you know, providing that, that uh, level of difficulty that they've uh, kind of been seeing here now for the last few years. Sure. So you know, really what we help customers do is, and again, part of this comes from our heritage, and we know how to work with and to manage different mainframe environments. Mm -hmm. We obviously have been supporting different open system environments from any type of operating system. Sure. Mac, Linux, even big frame Unix, Windows, of course. We've been sort of the, the industry leader in helping provide that level of physical support, and that's sure. not going away. Right. But what we really also help customers then do is not only you know, control and manage that and protect the data, so we're protecting that data up front and making sure the physical and even those mainframe environments are, are supported. But then we're also making sure that those different virtual environments and those cloud environments are protected as well. So what that really lets a customer do is take that growth and kind of realize it's no longer a challenge because I'm at least protecting it appropriately. Right. And I'm aware of where it lives and the different environments, right? But it doesn't stop there. So protection is one key point of the data. But really what it boils down to then is how do I move my data across infrastructures? Okay. Hybrid IT is all about being able to use all of this almost at any point in time that sure. you deem yeah, and you want is to necessary. be able to move data up to the cloud or back out of the cloud or whatever you need to do. All right? depends on the cost metric you're sure. trying to achieve or the use case, right? Yep. So we've got to be able to move. We also want to make sure that we can appropriately use that data no matter where it stores as well. Okay. So whether it's backup data, whether it's actual production information, disaster recovery, dev and test, we have a lot of customers that are asking how do we take information we have on premises move it down into that cloud, really provide that level of dev and test, and then maybe when we're done with the dev and test, bring it back on-prem, so right. we can start to leverage it in a production standpoint. And the fact that we give really one solution to do the protect, the move, the use, and then ultimately, tie that back into how the data can be properly managed, 
Well, now the customers have exactly what they need to eliminate that complexity. They're right. not buying multiple solutions for these different environments. Yep. They're not trying to piece together different uh, you know, scripting tools or native built-in tools for different environments. They've literally got one platform that they can leverage to truly drive the protection, the movement, and the portability all the way to the management, making sure they're, they're mapping to their different business policies while being able to ha have the freedom to use the data however they choose. And I think that's a really another really important point, right? Because if you look at this, this in some data centers, we're talking about 10 different products, right? Something Absolutely. moves up the cloud, something back up VMware, something back up the open system, something back up mainframe. The ability to do that all with one product from one interface is a huge advantage, I would think. Right, and once you understand where everything lives, now you can start to tr truly tackle that sprawl issue. Right. Oh, because okay. you know where you're using data, when you should turn maybe different compute resources up, when you should turn it down, mm -hmm. and that really gives you now those keys for success in hybrid IT. That's really what it's all about. That's awesome. So before we uh, exit out of the video here, why don't you tell the folks a little bit about Commvault if they don't know. Yeah, sure. So I mean, for, for Commvault, we really do five things really well for our customers. And it's all about helping our customers really become experts with their data. I and mean, that's really kind of even what this is all about, right? Hybrid IT, become experts with your data. Mm -hmm. um, and it nets down to five simple things. It's making sure the customers know how to you know, know what their data is. Know what it is, where it should live, what policy it should align to, where mm -hmm. you might want to move it to or store it based upon the different things you're trying to achieve. Number two is then the movement piece, right? Move it smart. Okay. Encrypted, deduplicated, secure from ransomware. And then, of course, number three is store that data. Mm -hmm. So whether it's on-premises, whether it's in the cloud, whether it's in an appliance, you name it, we can help them store. And then, of course, beyond that, it's then help them recover that data. Mm -hmm. So if they want to do disaster recovery in the cloud, or in another VMware environment, or another hypervisor environment of any type, we help orchestrate and drive that level of automation. And then the final piece that we do, of course, is the use. How do we help turn that data, the secondary storage copies that you've collected from a backup and disaster recovery perspective, and start to apply that for other business use cases? And that's a big one I think a lot of is people in the sort of even the data management, but certainly in protection, they miss that part, right? They don't pro provide the use part. Correct, correct. Yeah. So that's really what data platform and Commvault's all about, helping customers know, move, store, recover, and use their data. Awesome. Well, cool. thanks for joining us, Don. Absolutely. Thank you, George.